Hello everyone. Welcome to Infra Expert. Today's topic is MySQL cluster. So what all things we will be covering in this session? This will be a theoretical session. So in this session, we will be seeing what is MySQL cluster, the features and benefits of MySQL cluster, what is MySQL cluster manager, what is MySQL NDB cluster, and the MySQL NDB cluster architecture. And in the next session, we will be seeing how to practically set up a MySQL NDB cluster. So without wasting much time, let us proceed with the theoretical session. So what is MySQL cluster? A cluster, what is a cluster? First of all, you need to know that. So a cluster is a collection of commodity components to provide scalability and availability at a low cost. And this MySQL cluster is a technology that enables clustering of in-memory databases in a shared nothing system. MySQL cluster is a distributed database combining linear scalability and high availability. What are the features and benefits of MySQL cluster? MySQL cluster is highly scalable, real-time, ACID-compliant transactional database. This cluster maintains multiple copies of dataset for maximum availability. That is why it says 99.999% availability is there. So it has proven to deliver this 99.999% availability, ensuring re resilience to failures and the ability to perform scheduled maintenance without downtime. It is designed around a distributed multi-master architecture with no single point of failure. It scales horizontally on commodity hardware to serve read and write intensive workloads. And it is accessed via SQL and NoSQL interfaces. MySQL clusters real-time design delivers predictable millisecond response times with the ability to service millions of operations per second. This supports for in-memory and disk-based data. This cluster, MySQL cluster, automatically partitions tables across nodes, enabling databases to scale horizontally on low-cost commodity hardware while maintaining complete application transparency. This has the ability to add nodes to a running cluster with zero downtime and allows linear database scalability to handle the most unpredictable web-based workloads. MySQL Cluster Manager, this is a feature of MySQL Cluster which simplifies the creation and management of the MySQL Cluster Carrier Grade Edition database by automating common management tasks. It has a synchronous replication where Data within each node is synchronously replicated to at least one other data node. If a data node fails, then there is always at least one other data node storing the same information. So, what is MySQL Cluster Manager? MySQL Cluster Manager is a software which simplifies the creation and management of the MySQL Cluster databases by automating common management tasks. So the risks of database downtime that previously resulted from manual configuration errors are significantly reduced. So these are some of the features of MySQL Cluster Manager. Here administrators are able to create and delete entire clusters. Here administrators can start, stop and restart the cluster with a single command as well as add nodes online. Therefore, administrators no longer need to manually restart each data node in turn in the correct sequence or to create custom scripts to automate the process. So this is all managed by MySQL Cluster Manager. Here administrators no longer need to manually edit configuration files and distribute them to all other cluster nodes. MySQL Cluster Manager this provides the ability to control the entire cluster as a single entity while also supporting very granular control down to individual processes within the cluster itself. They are able to monitor cluster health at both an operating system and per process level by automatically polling each node in the cluster. They can detect if a process or server host is alive, dead or has hung, allowing for 
faster problem detection, resolution, and recovery. It integrates and extends existing management functionality by automating tasks that were previously performed manually by an administrator. It supports asynchronous communication between each management agent in order to reliably propagate reconfiguration requests. As a result, configurations remain consistent across all nodes in the cluster. So what is MySQL NDB cluster? This is a shared nothing cl synchronous cluster for MySQL based on the NDB engine. This NDB cluster integrates the standard MySQL server with an in-memory clustered storage engine which is called the NDB. A difference between NDB cluster to that of Galera cluster or MySQL InnoDB cluster is that in NDB cluster data is partitioned across multiple data nodes while Galera cluster or MySQL InnoDB cluster contains the full data set on each of the nodes. The NDB cluster is designed not to have a single point of failure. In a shared nothing system, each component is expected to have its own memory and disk and the use of shared storage mechanisms such as network shares, network file systems and SANS is not recommended or supported. So this is the NDB cluster architecture and this consists of three different node types. The management node, the data node and the SQL node. So the management nodes are intended to control the cluster for high availability reasons. Typically you have two such nodes. The role of this type of node is to manage the other nodes within the NDB cluster. Performing such functions are providing configuration data, starting and stopping nodes and running backups. Because this node type manages the configuration of the other nodes, a node of this type should be started first before any other node. A management node is started with the command ndb underscore mgm and this data nodes this stores the data using the ndb engine data is mirrored for redundancy with up to four replicas of data so the cluster can handle failures of individual data nodes with no other impact than that a small number of transactions are aborted due to losing the transaction state because transactional appliances are expected to handle transactional failure, this should not be a source of problem. And this data node is started with the command ndbd. So MySQL, the management node, it starts with, it is started with ndb underscore mgmd and in data nodes it is started with ndbd. The NDB cluster tables are normally stored completely in memory rather than on disk. This is why we refer to NDB cluster as an in-memory database. However, NDB cluster can be stored on disk also. Cluster data can be stored on the disk also. Individual nodes can be stopped and started and can then rejoin the system. Rolling restarts in which all nodes are restarted in turn are used in making the configuration changes and software upgrade. The SQL nodes, these are used as the entry points to the cluster. So from here only we fire the commands and which are which goes over here. They pass the SQL, ask for data from the data nodes and aggregate result sets when needed. In the case of NDB cluster, a SQL node is a traditional MySQL server that uses the NDB cluster storage. A SQL node is a MySQL D process which is started with the hyphen hyphen NDB cluster and hyphen hyphen NDB hyphen connect string option. These will be seen in the practical session. What are NDB cluster event logs? So NDB cluster logs events by category, startup, shutdown, errors, checkpoint and so on priority and severity. So the event logs are of two types. One is cluster log. This keeps a record of all desired reportable events for the cluster as a whole. And next is node log, which is a separate log, which is also kept for each individual node. Checkpoint. As we all know, checkpoint is a point in time where all committed transactions are stored on disk. With regards to the NDB storage engine, 
there are two types of checkpoint which work to the, together to ensure that a consistent view of the cluster's data is maintained. These are local checkpoint and global checkpoint. So the LCP. This is a checkpoint that is specific to a single node. That is why it is called local checkpoint. However, LCPs take place for all nodes in the cluster more or less concurrently. And LCP usually occurs every few minutes. The precise interval varies and depends upon the amount of data stored by the node. The level of cluster activity and other factors. NDB 8.0 supports partial LCPs, which can significantly improve performance under some conditions. And the next is GCP, which is global checkpoint. And this occurs every few seconds when transactions for all nodes are synchronized and the redo log is flushed to the disk. So that is all about the theoretical session of MySQL NDB cluster. In our next session, we will be seeing how to set up an NDB cluster. So stay tuned and please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching the session. Take care.